How do you reduce oxidative stress? Welcome back, health enthusiast. In today's video, we are diving into the fascinating world of oxidative stress and exploring proven strategies to reduce it. But before we jump in, if you're new here, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and ring the notification bell so you never miss out on our latest health tips. So let's get started. Oxidative stress occurs when there is an imbalance between your body's antioxidant defenses and the production of free radicals which can potentially damage your cells. Free radicals are oxygen-containing molecules with unpaired electrons. They are crucial for certain bodily functions such as fighting off pathogens. Also, suggest that free radicals may be beneficial in the process of wound healing, however, because free radicals have an uneven number of electrons, they are more reactive. When they gain an electron from a nearby substance, such as a strand of a DNA, they can change or damage the strand structure. Exposure to excessive amount of free radicals causes oxidative stress in your body. This can happen because of infection, two, overexercising, three, exposure to toxins, or four, burn injuries. Oxidative stress may lead to adverse health effects such as disease, rapid aging, inflammation, and even male infertility. Antioxidants are molecules that can donate an electron to free radicals and neutralize them, limiting a free radical's ability to cause damage. Now, what causes oxidative stress? Your body naturally produces some free radicals in response to exercise or certain food or drink. For example, drinking alcohol can cause an increase in free radicals. Additionally, many potential sources of free radicals exist around you, including cigarette smoking, air pollution, sunlight, industrial chemicals, radiations, and pesticides. Cumulative exposure to free radicals from these sources can lead to oxidative stress and cause cells and tissue damage. Now, how do you know if you have oxidative stress? Some potential signs of oxidative stress include chronic fatigue, memory loss, brain fog, and infections. Oxidative stress may also contribute to visible signs of aging like gray hair and wrinkles. Lifestyle factors that can increase oxidative stress such as sun exposure and smoking may also cause skin damage. Now, how can you prevent oxidative stress? Since antioxidants fight free radicals, some experts consider an antioxidant-rich diet helpful in defending against oxidative stress. Nutrients that are high in antioxidants include vitamins A, C and E, beta-carotene, lycopene, selenium, zinc. Many foods contain these nutrients including berries like strawberries, raspberries, blueberries, leafy greens like spinach, cabbage and kale, citrus fruits like lemons, oranges, tangerines and grapefruit, bell peppers, pumpkins and squash, tomatoes, broccoli, sweet potatoes, grapes, avocados, cherries, and nuts. Studies are mixed on whether supplementing with, with antioxidants is an effective way to fight oxidative stress. Now, making the following lifestyle changes may help prevent oxidative stress, like quit smoking. If you smoke, quit smoking. If you smoke, smoking increases your risk factor for a variety of diseases. Other is include more antioxidant rich foods in your diet. To limit oxidative stress, opt for foods high in antioxidants like fresh berries and leafy greens and limit your intake of saturated fats. Limit alcohol use. Heavy alcohol consumption interferes with the body's defenses against oxidative stress and can lead to a variety of health problems including liver disease. Other is lower your stress level. If you're chronically stressed, you may also have a higher levels of oxidative stress in your body. Try finding time to relax or consider starting a meditation routine to ease emotional stress. Protect your skin while sunlight is an important source of vitamin D. Prolonged sun exposure is another cause of oxidative stress. Regularly wearing sunscreens help protect your skin from sun damage. Get physical. 
research includes that moderate exercise is helpful for preventing oxidative stress and beneficial for health in general. But be aware that too much exercise can actually lead to an increase in oxidative stress. Get enough sleep. Getting a solid amount of sleep is crucial for your health. The Centers for Disease Control and Prevention, CDC, links sleep deprivation to several health conditions, including type 2 diabetes, heart disease, and depression. Now, as we wrap up today's video, remember that reducing oxidative stress is a holistic process that involves lifestyle choices. By incorporating these science-backed strategies into your routine, you can take proactive steps towards a healthier, more balanced life. If you found this video helpful, give it a thumbs up and share it with your friends. And as always, stay tuned for more health and wellness content. Until next time, take care.